Hi, I'm Lee Garecki at Pixel Trap, and today I'm going to walk you through my workflow for building a 16 bit image from a 32 bit HDR file without losing colour depth in the conversion. Let's jump right in. Right, here we are in Lightroom. As you can see, here's my bracketed exposure set. Um, here's the image that has uh, resulted from them that I've done before. So what we need to do is select the first image in the group, shift click the last image and then right click. Go to edit in and down to merge to HDR Pro in Photoshop. What that will do is take the images over to Photoshop and align them all. This takes a little while so we're going to wait a little while and jump ahead. Right here we are at uh, the HDR Pro dialog box and there isn't an awful lot of options here at the moment. We're in 32-bit mode at the moment. If we were in 16-bit mode, there would be a lot more options and a lot of different things that we could do here to uh, tone and improve the detail of the image, but that's not what we're looking at today. Uh, we're looking at a 32-bit image file, and afterwards we're going to be toning it in Adobe Camera Raw. The only other option we've really got here is the ability to remove ghosts. And what that does is if there's changes between the exposures of the bracketed set, like say for example someone walking across the image it will actually remove the different parts between the images and just make a single person stand in there instead of several people standing in all the different exposures so we need to click the remove ghost button because there's no reason not to remove the ghosts um, what we've actually got here is a handheld bracketed set so Photoshop is actually pretty good at aligning bracketed exposures that are handheld. There is slight variations in these images and it still managed to bring them together in a seamless kind of way. The only thing we've got left to do now is uh, click on the tone in ACR button and that means that it's going to open these group of images from down here uh, in the Adobe Camera Raw editing dialog that we're used to using all the time. Okay, so now we're in Adobe Camera Raw. You've probably seen this before if you've edited raw files. Um, pretty standard sort of stuff as you're used to. But one thing that you're going to have here, because it's a 32-bit file, you can remove this, these highlight things all the way and there's no loss of detail at all. So what you can effectively do, you can bring the highlights down and you watch these shadows in here. You can bring the shadow detail right up. And look at that, I mean, it doesn't look all ghosty, it doesn't look like an HDR file, it looks reasonably natural. Uh, I wouldn't actually take it that far, but uh, something like that maybe. Um, and now you've got all this detail inside here. Um, and do whatever you, I mean, you could do whatever you like, bump the, the clarity, push the vibrance up a bit. Um, you can play with the uh, white level, something like that. Bring the blacks up a little bit. And uh, that is effectively what you can do here. So basically what you've gained by having a 32-bit file is this ability to bring all this detail all the way in. Uh, you could do the same with the highlights. If you had blown out areas, say you had a bright light in a dark scene, you could bring them all the way down to bring them back. So there's our edited file. Click on OK. And that's going to take it into Photoshop as a 32-bit image. Now what is going to happen if you now try and use filters and stuff on that, you're going to find that a lot of your aftermarket filters and different filters that you might normally be used to using and a lot of other things in Photoshop don't work with a 32-bit image. Um, I don't know if that's something they're going to change in the future but at the moment it's quite a limitation. So what you end up having to do is convert that 32-bit image down to a 16-bit image. Now if you do that what's going to happen is you're going to lose all of that color depth that you gained previously as you can see there. So let's go back and there we have our image back again as the 32-bit image. See there? So what we could do is go edit, select all, another way of doing that is command A. We'll do it here for the video sake. So everything is selected now and copy. That's copied that image to the clipboard. Even though it's a 32-bit file, that will have copied that into the clipboard with that color depth. Then if we go mode, 16-bit, merge or don't merge, it's up to you. You just lose the smart fills and things if you merge it. 
you can see we've lost our colour depth. But now if you go to edit and paste, there's all our colour depth back. But we are still a 16-bit image and you've gained all of this detail in here that you didn't previously have. And it still looks relatively like a natural image without going all stylistic like a normal HDR. And from now you can use all of your filters that you would normally use. Um, they're all available. Edit it how you would normally edit it. And uh, that's it really. So uh, enjoy. Thanks for listening.